season in his first year as a starter, Max Hall threw for 3,848 yards and 26 touchdowns. True Blue reporter Jerem Jordan sat down with Max and discussed the season and how Max ended up at BYU. Okay, I'm here with quarterback Max Hall. Max, it's the offseason, I guess. Just first tell us what's going on with the team and what you guys are doing. You know, we're working hard right now. Um, the first day back from, from fall break, uh, Coach Menhall made it very clear that this is 08 team now. And uh, everything that we did in 07 was fun. It was nice, but it's time to get ready for next year. So um, we're really focusing ourselves and trying to get to uh, you know, a higher level game, trying to get to a BCS game. And we know it starts now. So we're just doing everything we can to work hard, prepare for it. How much leeway uh, time-wise was there between the end of 07 and the start of 08? A couple weeks. Uh, I think we had the bowl game right before Christmas. And then we had some time off to go home and enjoy Christmas with our families. And then I think the seventh when school started. Uh, we were back at it, so um, it wasn't too long of a break, but that's kind of the price you pay. And then in March, March 17th or so, I guess you get, you get started again with spring ball and stuff? Yeah, I, I think we're all kind of eager for it to get here, and I think we're um, excited for it. we got a lot of new guys that are going to have to step up and take some roles on the team, and it's a kind of an exciting part of the year to see who's going to do that, so um, I, we're definitely looking forward to it. How did you land at BYU? Because you went to Arizona State and even redshirted there. I guess tell us about the process of getting here to Provo. Yeah, um, Arizona State out of high school. Um, when I went on my mission and when I got back, I kind of just decided I wanted to change. Uh, I wanted to look at some other places, and BYU was a place I was always interested in. Uh, they'd offered me out of high school, and so when I contacted the coaches, they were definitely still interested in me coming here. And uh, one thing led to another, and now I'm sitting right here in this chair talking to you. So um, I couldn't be more happy with my decision, uh, and it's been a blessing for me to be part of the program. A year ago to now, you know, John Beck, a former Mountain View Toro as well, same high school. That's right. He graduates the success and the Pro Bowl on kind of a high here for BYU football, and then you step in. Could you have imagined that you would replicate the same record? Uh, I, I was hoping to. Uh, I, Everybody kind of made it real clear to me that we didn't want to miss a beat. Uh, we wanted to just keep going where we were going and you know, not go back to having a losing season or whatever. So uh, John Beck was an awesome quarterback, and he was an awesome teacher for me uh, as I was coming through the program. And to be able to fill his shoes and you know, having to live up to some of that expectation was tough, but I had some good players around me and guys to help me out. And uh, I think just hard work, and it led to a good season for us. We just got to keep it rolling. Before the start of last season. Was there something in spring ball that told you, hey, we could have a special season despite the fact that we have a bunch of new guys on offense in particular? Absolutely. Uh, a big key for me was having, having my offensive line, a bunch of senior guys coming back, um, you know, a senior center, Winsette, uh, with me and to help me along. So, and then you had guys like Austin Collin, Dennis Pittick coming back from missions, Matt Allen and Mike Reed who were reliable for me who had been in the program. Um, and some reliable backs, Manasi Tonga, Fui, Joe Semenov. So I had definitely had the crew around me for it to be a successful season, and I knew if I could just be consistent and just kind of you know, play my role, then uh, we would be successful. Is there something that you knew maybe about yourself that the public didn't know that you thought, hey, maybe we have a, a good chance of being successful? Um, I'm a perfectionist in a lot of things that I do, and, and uh, if I kind of have a goal to do something, I work really hard to get there. And so uh, I made it a goal that, I, you know, I wanted to be the best I can and, and to get this program uh, to back to where it was. Coach Menahal talks a lot about uh, this program's finally back and we're, we're national contenders now. So uh, I knew I could be a big part of that. And um, well, I guess if I just knew, I just knew I could do it. And uh, it was just uh, up to me to prove to everybody I could do it and to show my teammates that uh, I was a trustworthy candidate to do it. I've heard that you had your wife, Mackenzie, run some routes so you could work on your throws. Is that true? That's pretty intense. Uh, you know what? It started with my sisters uh, <laughs> growing up. Every Sunday afternoon, I'd have them out in the front yard running routes and stuff. And uh, it, it was kind of a fun thing. And uh, you know, I told my wife, uh, Mackenzie, before we got married that she needed to learn how to catch a football. And she did an awesome job <laughs> of that. And uh, she's gotten a lot better as we've gone along here. But um, it's fun. And you know, when we get some free time, we like to go throw the ball around or whatever. And I think she... She's having fun with the whole situation, and just, uh, you know, it's an exciting time for us. Thanks, Jerem. Next week, we'll show you part two of the interview, where Max discusses the fourth and 18 play, and if he'll be disappointed if the Cougars don't go to a BCS bowl game.